What's going on everybody? Welcome to Texas Haunted Channel. Hope everyone's having a blessed day. If you're new here, definitely click that subscribe button, hit that like button, turn the bell icon on to get notified of every upload. So in today's video, we are going to be doing a cabin filter on the RSX. And before we get started with that, I'm going to give you today's Bible verse, which is Proverbs 18:22. Whosoever findeth a wife findeth a good thing and obtaineth favor of the Lord. Now, the reason I'm mentioning this particular Bible verse is because this video wouldn't have been possible without my wife's help. Uh, we're driving around and it's like 108 or 109 degrees today and it's absolutely insanely hot. Um, at least that's what the dash thing says on the vehicles about 108, 109. We'll check real quick at what the garage temp is in the garage. I'm pretty sure it's 100. It's 100 degrees in the garage currently right now. And uh, yeah, it's ridiculously hot. The AC wasn't quite keeping up in this and we actually had to roll the windows down to get some cool air, which was crazy because it's hot outside. Um, she said, did we check the cabin filter? And that was the one thing we didn't do to this. We were gonna do it. We talked about doing it and forgot all about it. So we are gonna be changing that today with this cheap Fram. Now I recommend the K&N one since they're washable and reusable. This is all we can afford right now. So this is what we're gonna use. They will work perfectly fine. So we have the shop vac over here and we're gonna be using this to suck out any dirt, leaves or anything like that when we take the filter out. Um, but yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and get straight into it and I'm gonna show you how to install this. So we're gonna go right over here so right here at the glove box, we're gonna open that. There's these little clips right here. We can just push them with our finger. They look like this. And there's one on each side, just push them through. If you don't have a strong enough finger, uh, just push a flathead screwdriver or something to push it through. Now my fire extinguisher is in the way, so we're gonna move that. Now back here, we have a plastic cover, basically just lift up on this tab on the bottom here. Just pull it straight up, it bends that way. Take it out of the way. Then pull out the cabin filter, which as you can see is absolutely disgusting. If we push it out of there, it does say Honda on it. So it very well could be the factory one, uh, which wouldn't really surprise me any. It says airflow down. So when we install it, we need these arrows facing down and uh, it looks like it has some mold and mildew growing on it. So it very well could be the factory one from 2002. It is disgusting. So this would explain why the AC isn't blowing very hard. It's cold, but it's just not blowing very hard. Um, this will actually make it a little bit colder and blow harder. So the reason we got the shop vac is now we can shop vac in here and suck all of the other stuff out that's most likely on the blower motor. You don't want that circulating through your vents. So we're gonna go ahead and do that real quick. All right, so now that we have the old filter out, we got this plastic tray left. It does say airflow down, so keep that in mind. This will be facing the front. Um, We've got the new Fram filter. Now, again, I recommend the K&N. I'll drop a link below for a K&N reusable one. I just couldn't afford it or I would have done it in this video. So this says airflow down. We need those facing down. I'm just gonna set this back in here the same way the other was. And now we've got a fresh one. We're just gonna go ahead and put it back in. Put the cover back on. And then we can put this back in there. It's really simple to do. Just like that, and that. So now that that's done, we can actually start the car and uh, see how much better this blows. Hello. If you guys haven't watched my door chime video, I'll link it below. It's really cool. Every time I open it, it greets me. But uh, here we go. I wish I had a way to gauge this and show you. I guess the best way would to actually get one of the CFM meters and uh, show you how much better it's blowing on the same settings, but I don't have one of those. Um, but it is much colder already and it's blowing way harder. We could 
only feel it to about here. Now I'm sitting all the way back. I'm gonna sort of lean the seat all the way back. Yep, I can still feel it as far as here. Still going, yep. So I can feel it way back here already. So it is definitely a huge improvement. So again, whoever finds a wife finds a good thing and has favor of God. So a uh, huge shout out to my wife for this one because I hadn't even thought of that. I was like, I already charged it, it's cold. And I didn't even think about doing the cabin filter. Um, what's really cool is we bought that Fram filter at Advanced Auto Parts. It came with two. So when this one gets dirty, we already have a spare one that we can just throw in. And it was like $20 or something. I'll try to link the Fram one below, but I'm also gonna link the K&N one. I will actually be getting the K&N one. Um, so once I get the K&N one, I'll just give that Fram one to someone with an RSX or an EP3 or something uh, because I won't have a need for it. The K&N ones are a lot better flow, so it'll flow even better than this and um, they're reusable so you can just wash them out whenever they get dirty and then let them dry put it back in you're good to go so this is definitely one of the things i recommend doing when getting a used car even a car from the dealer one of the things i always do is check the cabin filter if it is equipped because some vehicles do not have cabin filters from the factory but this one does uh, same with the pilots and mdx's that is one thing to definitely check when getting a vehicle because that will help your AC if you have AC. And even if you don't have AC, you don't wanna be breathing in all that junk. I know a lot of people are germaphobes. I'm personally not, I'm a mechanic. I've eaten out in the garage while working, got grease on my hands, you know. Uh, so I'm not really worried about that, but at the same time, the quality of air is definitely better and it filters everything out from the road. And you know, obviously you've seen it filtered out a lot of stuff. So very, very important. I hope this video actually helps somebody because um, if it wasn't for my wife, I wouldn't have even thought about it because I had mentioned we were going to do it in a previous video that somewhere down the line I said that, yeah, we're going to go ahead and do the cabin filter or whatever, but I never did it. I totally spaced it out. So again, huge shout out to my wife for that. Now I do have to find a way uh, real quick. I wanted to explain this, why it's cut out. It's because I didn't like having this just off like this. So I actually trimmed the pieces up. So that way it can click in just like that. Um, but I do need to find a way to get the shift bag on now. I may just have to run it like this for daily mode. And then when I go to show it off, get another factory center console piece with the bag on it. So it looks good. Also, as you can see, still really terrible seat seats. Still working on all of that stuff, funds for that and everything else. But uh, yeah, the car's definitely made it a long ways. We still have a ways to go. But uh, yeah, I really like how everything's turning out. Let's let you hear this again. Hello. And it has the door projector light down there, which is turned. I need to actually turn that. But uh, Hello. yeah, it just will infinitely repeat that. But yeah, you can put whatever you want on there. It's programmable to any MP3 file, maybe your favorite movie quote or your favorite song, maybe your favorite Bible scripture, something to keep you encouraged when you open the car. You know, you got to go out there to the highway and get with all those people who don't know how to drive and you want to cuss them out. But, you know, you got to love your neighbor as you love yourself. Uh, it's a really important commandment as well. But, um, yeah, maybe you just need that extra encouragement. You could put that on there. So when you open the door, you have that Bible verse right there saying, hey, love your neighbor. But, uh, yeah, it's really cool. Uh, definitely check that video out. The link will be in the description. I did that on my other channel. If you haven't checked it out, please do so. And, uh, yeah, I just hope this video has helped someone. I know these Fram filters are really cheap and clog up pretty quick and easy, but, uh, it's better than that. As you can see the difference, huge difference. And you definitely don't want to be breathing all of that stuff in. I hear a lot of people complaining about wearing masks and stuff like that, but they're driving around with stuff like this in their car and don't even realize it. So uh, definitely uh, check that if you're worried about breathing things in. I have never been worried about that stuff. I've even painted cars without a mask and got yelled at for it by everyone on YouTube on my other channel. Um, I'm not really worried about it. I know God will take care of me and all that good stuff. But at the same time, you want to use precautions. Definitely change those out. Helps your AC, helps you breathe better, and everything else. So if you guys liked this video, please hit the like button. It helps the channel grow, and I need as much help from you guys as I can get. For the people who didn't know or maybe are new to the channel, I'm actually giving this car away. There won't be a raffle or anything like that. I'm actually going to be blessing a family with this car. It was donated to me. We fixed a few things up on it, and now we are going to be donating 
donating it to someone else and uh, blessing families that way. We're going to try to do this on a more frequent base so that we can bless more families and help more people. Um, when much is given, much is required. It's a Bible verse right there on screen. Um, and it's very true. I've been given a lot, a lot of responsibility. So it is my job, my duty to help as many people as I can and bless as many people as I can while, while getting good content out for you guys and helping the community grow. But uh, if you guys liked it, please share it around. Hit the like button. I'll see you guys in the next video. And as I like to say, God bless, stay safe, stay awesome.